Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Please subscribe and share with others if you haven't. I'd really appreciate it. I'm getting started with Taz or the Tasmanian Devil from the new Space Jam movie by showing you that quarter and pencil for scale. This is using my Copic Multiliner 0.03. And as typical, I usually start with a facial feature. In this case, I started with this little black oval nose. And from there, I'm building the rest of his face. Um, first, I drew on the top side of the nose, it was really close to that and kind of followed its contour. And then I drew what are his you know, upper cheeks, so, or not upper cheeks, upper lips that are just below his nose. And then I drew his cheeks in there. These are his eyebrows going in. And as I'm drawing, I'm, I'm looking at the reference of you know how tall those eyebrows are versus how wide his cheeks are and I'm using a reference photo off to the side so this is a, a Warner Brothers character and of course credit to them I'm merely uh, drawing a micro drawing interpretation of it so here I'm continuing to work around um, his face again kind of anchoring things back to that nose and and the upper lips and so on that I started with so those are his ears going in now, or just went in. Now I'm dropping, drawing the rest of his hair, I guess hair, you'd call it, he's hair all over, but his top hair, his hairdo, his head hair. And again, just kind of uh, pinning things back or relating them back to what I've already got drawn in here. And this Copic Multiliner, it's, it's basically, um, smudge free i guess you could say and with the copic sketch markers i use um once this is dry especially you know it's not going to smudge out so when i color in later with the different colors and i'll show those caps as i'm working through the sketch markers but they don't uh, affect the black here that's already drawn in so definitely a nice feature to have you can draw with other smaller thin markers or pens, but I found one this one to work well for me. So there I'm just drawing his lower lip, his lower line around his lower teeth. And uh, I'll just continue to, to fill in here. And then, like I said, uh, when I get to the Copic sketch markers, I'll show you each of the caps. If you want, you could pause the video at that time and take a look at the colors that I'm using. In this case, oh, what I use? Probably about seven different colors. A couple shades of, of gray for his shoes. His uh, main hair color. Uh, his tongue. The basketball. The red on his uh, uniform. So, kind of adds up. You know, it doesn't seem like that many colors in such a, a small character. Um, and, and then later on here, I'll uh, do some additional comparisons besides the quarter that I started with. I'll show you a double A battery and a, a medium or a, I guess a regular size binder clip too. So I'll be quiet here for a little bit, let you watch the drawing kind of play out.
All right, so pretty much got them drawn in. I left the lines off the basketball. Later on, I forgot about it, but then I came back to it. But I drew that over the orange um, just to make sure there wasn't smudging. So here's some little different uh, size comparison. There you can see just my pointer finger or index finger covering it up pretty easily. So again, uh, using Copic sketch markers here to work through, and I'll show you the cap each time. Uh, this video is, you know, sped up at least, I think it's two times the regular, regular speed. So you might have to pause it if you want to catch those colors. So there I just put in his tongue and then kind of the back inside of his mouth. Here's the chrome orange for the basketball. And sometimes I have to rotate the paper. Now the sketch markers do have a broad chisel end and the fine tip and I use the fine tip of course. And as I rotate the paper, it lets me uh, work that point in there a little more carefully. And I rotate it, so I'm working with a, a longer, thinner run of whatever it is. Or so I can work that tip, in this case, work it up to the edge, up to the black line that I'm looking to protect. So there again, is just putting some red in on his uniform. Here's a cool gray, and I ended up using a cool gray three and a cool gray five the five is a little darker than the three so that's going into the shoes and then his wristbands there's the five that I'll use a little darker I suppose they make a four but I don't know my my uh, in my markers I had a one a three five seven and a nine so I'm not sure if they have the inner intermediate uh, you know colors inside of those but and then here's a, a leather color this is what I'm using for most of his hair or most of his body so of course trying to work in those little points as carefully as possible and again uh, having to rotate to try to control that and there really isn't much bleed with this paper it's a Canson Hundred weight, XL smooth, acid free. So it lets me pretty much touch it, and that's where the ink stays. Uh, but it, it can still bleed just the teeniest bit. And when you're working with a micro drawing like this, even a teeny bit is too much. So really trying to take uh, care here, rotating it, and just touching down into there to uh, get it actually fully colored in and so there's the barley beige and that's going for his ears and then his I guess his face or you know immediately around his mouth is a lighter color so again just touching that in and then I realized here I didn't finish off his thumb so I got to get back to that Copic multi-liner and get his thumb put in there and then back with the Barley beige around it, but then the uh, leather to color his actual thumb in. And there again, rotating it so I can just touch it to get it in there. There's the quarter for scale. And I'll put on today's date, 19th of July. But then I remembered that I forgot the lines on the basketball, so I'll add those as well. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please share, and please check out the playlist so you can see bunch of other drawings that I've done. Have a great day.